Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today, I'm going to speak about one of the most interesting uh, heroes in the epic sections which have been used si since the season 1. And there is one particular way uh, of using that uh, epic hero uh, when still tier 5 players and even like 100 million power players are using it. That's why I decided to take a guide about that hero which is pretty interesting if we're gonna speak about uh, epic heroes in general because it's uh, pretty obvious that the difference between uh, legendary heroes and epic heroes are pretty big and like you need to understand how you can use those epic ones in a better way. Today we are going to speak about Gwenwin, uh, which have been uh, my favorite hero whenever I started playing this game. Uh, simply because it just ticks the wipe check, like it gives me Lord of the Rings wipes, as, uh, especially for the Legolas, right? That's why I in general uh, choose Spring Wardens, I thought it was like main archer uh, faction and I would play like a Legolas as a main hero. Uh, in order for us to understand why um, Gwenwin is uh, good in uh, that particular uh, behemoth killing style of gameplay, we need to know the uh, skills as always and I'm gonna briefly um, and like try to explain um, how in general Gwenwin works. Like skill damage factor 200, uh, nothing like special, right? For epic heroes, you won't gonna see a uh, skill damage factor high number. It's always low. Uh, also, Gwenwin is a peacekeeping hero, which is pretty normal because it's a first hero whenever you are starting a Spring Wardens faction to level up to try the game. Uh, that's why, like, almost, I think uh, peacekeeping is only worth it for the main uh, heroes of the faction. That's why it's pretty normal, uh, nothing uh, like bad or it, it can't be good, right? The third skill is normal buffing skill, physical attack bonus, march speed bonus, 15% and 10%. Uh, march speed bonus is great because if you are playing as a Spring Wardens, uh, your archers uh, has a reduced uh, march speed by itself and whenever you are getting it from the hero, it's pretty good. The fourth skill, uh, when Gwenwin Legion has 50% unit count or higher, your, her unit deal 10% extra damage. Nice, nothing special, uh, but what's most important about Gwenwin in general is her awakening skill. Uh, when Gwenwin Legion launches a normal attack, they have 15% chance to inflict poison, deals damage every second for 3 seconds, which means like uh, if you're gonna apply the poison, you're gonna deal 300 damage. And that's the main factor of uh, Gwenwin being uh, even popular in the Behemoth killing because as you already know, Behemoth has the highest amount of HP and ticking and poison damage is always better whenever enemy has a big amount of health. That's why even if you are already in Season TI or Season 2+, plus, doesn't matter where, you can always use Gwenwin as your primary hero. Uh, you will have a lot of damage in your Behemoth killing and you will be pretty happy about it. Uh, if we're gonna speak in terms of PvP against other players, uh, she won't be the best choice. Uh, she will be the filler until you're gonna get a better choice uh, hero for the marksman. But like, yeah, like you, it will be easy for you to awaken epic heroes because like I have already awakened every single epic hero by just playing the game, not spending even one dollar. So like, it's pretty easy to awaken those. Um, yeah, like it, it will be pretty good filler. Uh, you won't gonna go wrong. Uh, like there is not better epic hero in marksman side in my opinion, uh, because you can use her in many different ways. Uh, but main idea about Gwenwin is that she is a poison uh, damage dealer. Uh, ticking damage, uh, not not a big damage factor, not an amazing skill, just her awakening skill is just too good to have on the marksman. Uh, for the talents, um, like another good stuff, uh, because Gwenwin has a precision talent and I think uh, for the marksman legion types precision is the best talent, for mages it's, it's, ma it's skill, uh, for cavalry it's mobility or skill and for infantry it's tank. So, so we are pretty lucky that Gwenwin has a precision talent and I would always suggest to go for the precision talent which, because simply the highest damage. Uh, precision until the end and marksman uh, until the half it al is always a great choice. 
I'm generally not going into the small details which uh, well, talent to upgrade because that's your uh, job uh, if I will say like this because if I'm gonna uh, tell you which kind of talents to upgrade every single one you're gonna lose the fun you need to understand what you are clicking so like until you're gonna click on the talent read it first then you're gonna understand what kind of hero you have in general and you're gonna uh, learn the hero hero in a much faster way now for the hero pairs uh, well it's not limited almost every single hero pair can be used on when win uh, actually but let's say uh, we just started the game and you have a Sp uh, spring warden's faction you have gwen win which heroes you will be able to um pair with is also like craig uh, another um marksman epic hero uh, that's whenever you are starting the game you aren't gonna have many legendary heroes and you only gonna have many uh, first kill five level legendary heroes that's why if you're gonna run for some time epic heroes uh, Mar uh, Gwenwin Craig you will at least try to progress the game like do the quest the dragon trail and stuff like this whenever you're gonna move forward uh, let's say you unlocked Nico Nico can be paired with uh, Gwenwin let's say you somehow unlocked Kinara Kinara can be a uh, hero pair for the Gwenwin like generally that's why Kinara that's why Gwenwin is so popular even right now uh, simply because she can be used in uh, like almost every single marksman uh, legion type uh, also the big plus about that is like when win has a precision talent and it's pretty easy to uh, awaken her so it shouldn't be any problems uh, regarding that uh, depending on your playstyle uh, like uh, depending how lucky you are what kind of legendary heroes you get uh, pair when win with anyone who has a better skills uh, uh, in order to have a higher impact uh, for the artifact section well it's not a surprise it won't gonna be surprised if i'll tell you that almost every single artifact can be useful on the uh, gwen win uh, shadow blades on the legendary section always a great uh, thing to have on your marksman pure damage factor uh, artifact um, other than that you're gonna like generally come uh, to the epic section and you can always run heart piercer if you don't have uh, shadow blades like uh, it's a lesser version uh, but big plus is the target has a 65% chance to gain physical defense break 15% uh, for 5 seconds for 3 seconds uh, for the epic artifact uh, pretty cool uh, pretty unique uh, also if you even don't have heart piercer you can always go with a bomb flinger uh, it's uh, more of a skill uh, epic uh, artifact for the marksman other than that what we can get uh, currently from here uh, like for heart of kamasi it's, i think it's pretty underrated artifact uh, i'm using it on my different hero pair uh, i think it can be useful uh, but uh, not a best choice for gwenwin but if you have it and you don't have for example other legendary artifacts you can use heart of kamasi until you're gonna get for example shadow blades right it's not a big uh, deal I'm I'm always speaking about artifacts which we can get uh, from the uh, like this uh, universal artifact compendium uh, because I'm not a pay to win player I have not paid a single dollar in this game and uh, it's better to discuss the gameplay which we currently have for free by just playing the game uh, in general uh, that's all for the artifacts um, uh, next step uh, as always is for the warpeds i have already did every single um, warped guide one by one uh, which uh, is pretty easy to check on my channel uh, but for the uh, gwenwin any art like even uh, for the nitrock she can be fine uh, snow peak rock she can be fine um, sand lizard because of healing and staying alive in order to deal the poison damage from the gwenwin's awakening skill can be fine like um, generally me if i was playing uh, with gwenwin i think i would run with uh, sand lizard uh, to stay um, alive as much as possible to deal those awakening poison skill damage factors uh, uh, as much as possible because that's the main damage you are dealing from the uh, Gwenwin in my opinion so it's pretty basic I don't have sand lizard to show you but like trust my words uh, sand lizard is great with my with Gwenwin if you don't have sand lizard go with night rock go with snow peak rock like any marksman uh, war pet can be totally fine uh, on the Gwen Gwenwin like generally but if you are just starting the game awakening uh, of the epic hero is very very easy uh, especially if you are playing uh, spring wardens so like it should not be a problem for you to awaken 
like when we even in one season um, like especially if you will uh, choose the daily tokens of when we here you are getting two uh, tokens per day also like even al almost every single 10 pools in the gold keys are giving you uh, the epic hero tokens or like unlocking the epic hero in general so like it will be really really easy to awaken Gwenwin and it, it will be easy for you to take her full potential uh, in general I suggest you to awaken every single epic um, hero it's easy uh, you will have a lot of benefits in the future this is all I wanted to speak regarding Gwenwin um, pretty basic uh, hero but important for the game uh, for the purely looks she is amazing um, like I that's her here she is the reason why I started playing the game because I like the artwork of the uh, Gwenwin um, I hope you are liking the videos I hope you are enjoying the content in uh, like one day or one and a half days and my season will uh, begin in season TI and a lot of more content and a lot more videos will be available in this channel hopefully a lot more wars because I generally have most fun uh, participating in wars uh, in the Call of Dragons. If you do like the content and if you think it's informative, press like, uh, share, uh, comment, subscribe. It always gives me more and more motivation and uh, I'm, I'm always trying to progress and make a better content, content every single time. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you are doing uh, amazing wherever you are, morning, night, day. Um, I wish you all the best. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye.